A severe mobile iron flaw was discovered. Google's Messages app will soon be end-to-end -end encrypted, and Teslas can be hacked again. All coming up now on ThreatWire. Greetings, I am Shannon Morse, and this is ThreatWire for December 1st, 2020. This is your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and internet freedom. First, a couple of quick FYIs. For a limited time, you can get 15% off anything in my Teespring store, and that includes ThreatWire gear until December 10th. So that includes things like this hoodie, which I did get a sample of because I wanted my own hoodie. It's extremely soft. I wear it all the time for these winter color Colorado months. It's very, very soft. I love it. I also have women's cuts for t-shirts and regular unisex cuts for t-shirts. I have stickers, mugs. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. I am also sending out Christmas cards to patrons this year. So if you want one of those, go to patreon.com slash threatwire. Choose one of the perk levels that includes the signed Christmas card. You'll see it upon sign up and you will get one mailed to you. So that includes annual members too. So if you want a discount off the membership, plus a special Christmas card from me, sign up before December 10th to qualify for both of those things. Current patrons also make sure that your address is updated so that you get your card and there are no issues. And now on to the news. Even if a patch is available, that does not necessarily mean that a company is going to update in good time. The UK's National Cyber Security Center, or NCSC for short, issued an alert on November 23rd explaining that state-sponsored groups like Advanced Persistent Threat Nation State Cyber Criminals are using a known vulnerability to target Mobile Iron, which is an MDM software that allows system admins to manage mobile devices for an entire organization via a main centralized server. So using the platform, an admin can monitor, connect to, and manage traffic traffic between their centralized server and a mobile device. The vulnerability was CVE 2020-15505, and Mobile Iron actually released a security update for it way back in June of 2020. Now, this vulnerability could allow a remote attacker to execute arbitrary code on an affected system, and it was labeled as a remote code execution issue. In September, a proof of concept became available for the exploit, and now the NCSE is alerting folks that it is being exploited by attackers in the wild months after the patch was available, which means many organizations have not run a security update for their infrastructure yet. Many industries, including government and healthcare use mobile iron for management. And the NCSE confirmed in their public alert that, quote, they have successfully compromised systems, though they do not disclose what organizations have been affected or have been attacked. The U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Agency, or CISA, also issued an alert saying they are aware the CVE is being actively exploited, but it's also being used with the net logon or zero logon vulnerability which was CVE 2020-1472 from earlier this year. Because it could affect an entire organization's mobile device control, the NCSE strongly advises folks to update affected versions and keep informed of any future security updates as well. We've got some good news for Android users. Now, while I do prefer Signal for my encrypted messaging, Google is now rolling out end-to-end -end encryption for their RCS messaging platform, which is called Messages. Google will be rolling out this end-to-end -end encryption first to one-on-one -on -one RCS conversations between two people using the mobile Android app called Messages. It will be available to beta testers this month and will continue rollout into next year. Any conversations that are eligible for encryption will automatically upgrade to this new feature. If a recipient is not using an updated version of messages, then the chat will downgrade to non-encrypted RCS or SMS. RCS is Google's version of iMessage for iOS. It stands for Rich Communication Services, and it allows for contacts to get better quality media, chat over Wi-Fi or data, share read receipts, reactions, and more dynamic options. Since Messages is now available globally and it's free, anyone using the app should be able to use encryption once they finish the rollout, with the exception being users in China and Russia. They made no mention about 
group chats, which is not surprising given most group chats are not encrypted as it is. According to a technical paper by Imad Omara, Google's technical lead manager of communication security, which I have linked that paper down below, the tech giant is using Signal's encryption protocol, which also means you can verify the public key for your recipient whenever you switch devices or do an app reinstall. This is a great step towards making the Android user experience more secure while also keeping it convenient. Now, if only they can get all the different mobile carriers on board too, but this is still a wonderful work in progress. Before we hit story number three, I wanted to say thank you so much to my supporters at patreon.com slash threatwire. Check out these new fur baby photos from my Hush Puppy Perk Level patrons. I love them. Keep them coming. They're so cute. Also, patrons now get access to discount codes on the Hack5 shop. Make sure to check out this month's discount code over on the Patreon page. Every few months, a new one will be generated and it may include different kinds of discounts. So keep an eye on the page for updates. And I do want to thank the Hack5 shop for helping me make that happen. Also, a big shout out to Tim W, Kian A, Adam P, Zetto, Nick P, Meister Burger, Craig L, Cyanide Euphoria Studios, Cooper B, and Ubi P, who joined the Patreon team this week. Thank you so much to each and every one of you. You are amazing. As always, you can find all of the different perks, including that show shout out on the Patreon page. Thank you so much to my patrons. I truly appreciate you. If you own a Tesla, update the software right now. Just do it. According to Leonard Wouters, a PhD student from the Computer Security and Industrial Cryptography Group at KU Leuven in Belgium, hopefully I said that right, a flaw resides in the update process for the Tesla Model X key fobs, which can allow an attacker to overwrite and hijack firmware on those key fobs and steal the car if it is not updated within a matter of minutes. The attacker only took some inexpensive gear like an electronic control unit salvaged from older Model Xs that's currently sold on eBay. He also used a Raspberry Pi, a can shield, a modified key fob, and a LiPo battery for the rig, which is kind of large and bulky, but an attacker could plausibly hide it in a backpack. Using this, he was able to trick a victim key fob into believing the ECU belonged to the newer car as the paired device, and he could then push a malicious firmware update to the fob via BLE. It is not secure, so after the update, he could send valid unlock codes to the car. On one hand, this attack would require an attacker to be within close proximity. The attacker's device would need to be within five meters of the vulnerable key fob to push the malicious code. While this process happens, which takes about 90 seconds, the attacker could walk up to 30 meters away. The attacker would then be able to extract unlock codes from the vulnerable key fob and use these to get into the Tesla Model X at a later time. Once inside the car, they could connect the eBay purchased ECU to the diagnostics connector and pair their own key fob to the car to either use later or just start up the vehicle immediately and drive it away. There is a video of the process posted by the security researcher and the link is in the description. It's totally got this Mr. Robot feel to it and it is very cool. After finding the bug, Wouters reported it to Tesla and Tesla started rolling out a patch labeled 2020.48 about a week ago. Now with that, do not forget to like and subscribe. I am Shannon Morris and I will see you next time. Bye.